What's up, Nova Heads? It's Amber Nova. This is Chris Lights Out Lytle. Hi, this is Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Nice boogie. It's the real and raw August Art Swap. This is Smiling Sam Alvey. It's Archimedes. I'm Jack Cartwheel, the real deal, the human highlight reel. This is Steve Maury. I'm Victor Henry. It's ECW Original, The Enforcer. CW Williams. This is Honest John. This is Mr. Classic. I'm Jason Pune. The young goats are. <laughs> it's all had a price here. When I say what's my name, tonight. Richie Slate. My name is Gina Rivera, the Frank Sinatra of the Spanish Mafia. The incredible one, Anthony Idol. This is Ken Shamrock. The Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater. Yo, watch <laughs> and listen. Championship online. Podcast. Okay. This is Alex Morris here. Hi, Richard Modest. Yep. Yeah. Listen to it, otherwise be cursed. Okay, see you later, love that dinner. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you're now watching and listening to Championship on the Line podcast with my co-host as usual, Rich. And I'm Alex, and today we have a very, very special episode. I say special all the time, but this is really special. Uh, we got pro wrestler Evie Bro in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for, for joining with us. No, thank you guys for having me. Of course, of course, we're so excited. Uh, uh, but first, we like to do a quick little t- uh, a segment. We like to ask okay. uh, fun questions. We'll ask you 10 questions to get to know you a little bit. Is that cool we do with you? Oh, I like it. I like it. Let's do it. Cool. I'll stick it away, Rich. Awesome. We'll start right away. Uh, what is your favorite movie of all time? I'm going to go with Rudy. Oh, oh yes. that's, a, that's yes. a great one. Yeah. Yeah. My family's cool. big Notre Dame fans besides LSU. So Rudy hits close to home. Nice. Nice. <laughs> That's not Richard's like, favorite movie, but you know, it's my favorite movie. Oh, no. Is it? Yeah, I love that movie. I, I used to watch it with my dad. It's all a great time. movie. Yes, it yes. Is a great movie. It's it's I I like it personally. It's just I feel like growing up, I've seen it so many times, and then like even like growing and going to high school, middle school, they always like put yeah, certain movies. That that was one of them. I don't know why. My high school, they played it. They must have played it like at least. 10 to 12 times throughout. It's a great motivational movie. Because it's such a yeah. great movie, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> awesome. Next, uh, favorite TV show of all time? Castle. That's easy. Mm. That's easy. Yeah. Nice. Uh, favorite music artist or band you like to listen to? Ooh. I went through a phase where I was like, Katy Perry all day. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with her. I freaking love Katy Perry. Nice. Do you have a favorite <laughs> song? Ooh, a favorite song by her. Mm. Let's do Dark Horse. Oh, sometimes I yeah. sometimes my entrance is the, a pop rock version of that. So let's go with that one. Cool, cool, awesome. Nice. Um, next, uh, favorite sports team. Um, yeah, favorite sports sports team of all time. I'll go with LSU. I'll go with the home, the home team. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> Especially like with football. See, are you into like fantasy, fantasy football? Oh my gosh. I have three leagues right now. Yes. I'm super into it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I just recently got back into it. This is like my first year doing it. Cause like I grew up like 2010, like that was the year I was like really into mm-hmm. it. And after yeah. that, like, I stopped. So I was like, oh wait, I forgot like Pete Manny doesn't play anymore. Eli James doesn't play anymore. <laughs> Brett Favre doesn't play anymore. I'm like, oh man. So it's like all these You're new players. You're drafting all the retired people. You're yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like Tony Romo. I'm like, oh no, like he retired. <laughs> yeah, it's taking me a while to get back, but yeah, it's been fun. You'll get there. You'll get there. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Um, what's uh, your favorite season? Are you a winter person, spring, summer? Mm, that's tough. I have to go with summer because I love the beach and I love mm. just summertime in general because when you were a kid, you were off school. It was great. Um, yeah. But I also do like fall. 
I like when the weather starts changing a little bit. It doesn't change much. <laughs> I've not experienced mm-hmm. fall yeah. or really winter, but yeah, I'm, I'll go with summer. Nice. Well, favorite video game? Oh. <laughs> I have been stuck on PUBG for so long. People always get on me about it, but I, I just love it for some reason. I will play it all day. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Favorite meal you like to eat? I'm torn between my mom makes this really good roast with like mashed potatoes and cream corn mm-hmm. or steak. I will eat steak for every meal every day. Steak and potatoes, you cannot go wrong. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I think that's like the ultimate meal. We've asked this question so many wrestlers. And fighters and like you can't beat steak and potatoes. Yeah, you can't go you wrong. You literally with steak. can't. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> Outside of wrestling, do you have a do you have a hobby you like to do? Um. Yes, I used to love like still playing basketball or playing any sports with my friends and stuff like that. Ever since I've been um, super busy with wrestling, I haven't been able to do that. But yeah. Any type of sport, you can catch me playing whenever. Oh, nice. Uh, also, do you have a ritual you like to do before entering the ring? Ritual. Mm. <clears throat> Depends. Most of the time, I just make my entrance, kind of make a stank face towards the crowd because I don't really mm-hmm. like them anyway. And then <laughs> do my thing, and then I get in. But nothing, nothing too specific. Ooh, nice. If you could have a match that isn't who isn't a wrestler, anybody, it could be a video game character, a fictional character, someone from a TV show. Who would it be? A wrestling match with anybody. Ooh, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm going to go with, <laughs> I think Daffy Duck from Space Jam. Oh, oh that's so nice. funny. I feel like that would be so funny. <laughs> that's, that's pretty that's cool. Real, that's, like, that's cool because we have like, a lot of like cartoon characters and stuff, but that's like the, our first. Like, that, that's really cool. Yeah. I was just thinking how funny he is in the Space Jam, and I was like, yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> How would you see that match going? Yeah. I would destroy him, obviously. (laughs) I just think his reactions to everything would be funny. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It entertained me at least. I'd be there. (laughs) That's awesome. Yeah, we get a lot of different answers, but most of the time we get like a lot of like the office for some reason. Like we get a lot of characters from there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We got something different. But yeah, that'll be a cool match. That'll be that'll be fun. I tried to go as off the wall as possible. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, but again, really, really do appreciate you taking the time to do this uh, podcast with us. We really, really appreciate it. Um, but, you know, also, you know, want to get the beginning side. Like, how did you first get into introduced to wrestling? Yeah, um, I watched it a lot when I was younger. Um, and then when I was in high school, I watched it again like got back into it really big and that's when like tough enough and all that was starting Mm. um so that was really my first like introduction back into it from you know besides when you're younger and it's just on tv and you're like oh that's cool (laughs) (laughs) did you have like a favorite wrestler during that time um when i was younger Shawn michaels for sure Mm. always yeah oh yeah Yeah. because like rich and i we grew kind of grew up like watching like the ruthless aggression era so mm-hmm. like Shawn Michaels, that's like his last few years he was wrestling. So yeah. like that was so cool to like watch him. But he was he was great. Like especially like mm-hmm. during that time, like he had evolution, like he had like the whole faction and everything, the rivalry, everything mm-hmm. was like, I think that time was I mean I'm biased because you know that's the time I grew up, but I think that was the best. Right. <laughs> no, yeah, I agree, yeah. Totally. Did you like ever like play the video games or like collected like any like the yes, figures or anything? Yes. My brother and I played all the video games together Mm. which one would be like the best one was there any like specific one would be your favorite 
God, I'm trying to think. Mm, no, no, I don't have a favorite. I remember one specifically that we used to play, like pre Hurricane Katrina. That's how I, that's how I remember oh. things in my head as like pre and post Hurricane Katrina. Um, but no, all the old ones were just so great. Oh God, they were all oh, yeah. so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, you can see like from the pride from behind, like I, I still collect the figures. So like, yeah, just, yeah. It's just, <laughs> and him too. So like, yeah, we're still yeah, like really a bunch. <laughs> but yeah, um, but what got you, uh, so like, take me back to the moment, like what made you decide, like, I'm actually going to pursue into this business and become a wrestler? Like, when did that moment hit for you? Um, I think it was during COVID, like quarantine. Um, I still, I like graduated college and I was like, Ooh, still don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Like, uh, and I was just thinking what could, you know, I, I do that would make me happy because I knew my whole life growing up, like an office job or a normal job just was not going to cut it. I have far too much like ADHD. I need to be moving. I need to be active. Um, and I, like I said, I played sports my whole life. I danced as well. Um, I did like competitive dancing and so I think just like during quarantine sometime what was it either raw or smackdown came on and then like it was the same thing like <laughs> like when I was a teenager and you just like run into it again and I was like wait a minute and I was like I feel like I could do that that would be really cool and really fun and so I was like I'm gonna give it a try and yeah and so then I decided to go to training that's so cool that's awesome and then like yeah. what was like your like family's like reaction and friends like like what was the reaction telling them like oh I'm actually going to pursue into this um honestly it was all good I was nervous because you hear from other people um that their families like either weirded out about it or like don't yeah. get it um yeah. but no I told my mom and she was like oh, that's so cool and I was like, yeah, don't you think? And she was like, oh, yeah, like, um, she, she watches, like, E a lot. So she was like, oh, like the Bella Twins. And I was like, yes, the Bella Twins. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, oh, my God, that would be so cool. I think you'd be good at it. And I was like, thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Has my, she, has my friends, they were just like, ah. They were like, they were like, really? And I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they were like all right we think you can do it and I was like cool thanks guys <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool has your mom like has she had the chance to see you wrestle yet live yeah she actually came to my first match um it okay. was in Georgia and uh, I think it was five or six hours from my house in Louisiana but she was like no I'm coming and I was like cool thanks mom <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's really that's really nice that's awesome to hear she's the best Kathleen is a one best mom ever <laughs> That's awesome. And then take me back, you know, so like you start training at, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you start training at Flatbacks, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what was that first day like for you going to wrestling school? Um, I was super anxious, super anxious just because, um, I don't know. It's like when you're a kid, I, this is how I explain it to people all the time. When you're like three or four and like your parents put you in sports and like you're starting to learn it all over like for the first time you don't really think about it because you're like three years old and you're like yeah I'm doing it but when you're like 20 something and you're going in and you have like no idea and it's like your first day and you're just like this is gonna be a lot so I was just really anxious but as soon as we started like warming up and rolling around I was like yeah I was like this is it this is what I want yeah I was like as soon as we started rolling around I was like mm -hmm. yep <laughs> that's so cool that's awesome and then like who were you like uh like, who's coaches? Like, was it uh, Sean Spears and Tyler Breeze, or was it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. And yeah. what was it like training under them? Um, it was really cool. They're both super knowledgeable about every aspect of wrestling. Um, and they each have, like, different ways they go about things. And so it's cool to get two different perspectives and then kind of choose which route you want to go or, like, mesh them and just stuff like that. But um, – yeah, they're super knowledgeable and it was, it was great. I still train all the time with them. Like I go back um, pretty much every day, except for today. 
and it's just cool every day to go in there you learn something new from them like <laughs> it could be anything and they have like a way that something could be better and so it's just really cool that's cool that's awesome uh what was there any advice that they given you that you still keep today about like the business yeah um fears is all about working hard and like pushing yourself when nobody is watching um and also doing the hard work when nobody's watching because like they preach to you that like when you go home no one's going to be like hey you need to work out or hey you need to study film blah 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 um so just having like that in the back of my mind on days where I'm like kind of tired I'm just like <sighs> but I'm like nope like <laughs> it makes sense like he followed this path and like he's where he's at so I mean you know so I just keep that in the back of my head because that was really good advice that like this business you're kind of on your own and mm -hmm. so unless you put in the work then you're not you know going to be successful mm -hmm. and you know going back you know was there um like overall like consistence of like like overall like training there like what did the training consist of like what was like the workouts they did like overall um, so the first few weeks is all, um, like technique based and cardio based, um, mm -hmm. cause they definitely want to show you certain ways of how to do things like safely. And then they also want to make sure that you are in shape because it, it, you don't realize once you get in the ring that, mm -hmm. um, you know, like cardio, you could do all the cardio you want. Like I could go run like three miles and. But once you step into the ring, it's so different. Um, and it's, it's uh, you kind of have to train yourself on how to breathe and how to do things a certain way to conserve energy and stuff like that. So that, the first four weeks are kind of more about that. And then the last four weeks are more like super in-depth, like we're studying film and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And especially with, you know, with everything with, you know, Sean Spears doing in AEW and Tyler Bates doing NXT, where was the, and did he, did he ever bring... Mm -hmm anyone from like any friends from there like to come over and, and uh train with the with, with flatbacks was there every time they oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um billy gunn and austin and colton come all the time oh um yeah because they they love training they love working hard they're literally workhorses so they come all the time as far as the wwe side um Zaya comes mm. often um a few weeks ago, Sasha Banks came in. So that was cool. Um, we got to meet her. I'm trying to think who else has come in. Uh, Raquel, she came once. Oh. Yeah, so that was cool. Um, and then obviously Cassie and Jess come from time to time, which is always cool because they're great. <laughs> that's, so, that's, that's so cool, especially with all the names and the connections they have. You, mm -hmm. You're like learning so much of all these different types of wrestlers. Which oh yeah, good. I just sit there and try to soak it in. <laughs> While they're there, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, going through training, was there any like specific like footage that you would watch on a certain wrestler to kind of get inspiration for like your ring style? Was there like a specific person you would watch? Um, I wouldn't say there's anyone specific that I would watch. I know. Like we, when we're there, we mostly watch um, their matches so they can kind of tell us what exactly they were going through, which is like super helpful. Um, so I found myself watching them as well. Like even when I was at home, because I was kind of like trying to get into their mindset based off what they would tell us at class. So, yeah. Okay. And then take me back, like what did your first match, like go coming out of the curtain, like how did that feel for you? for the first time like what was that experience like for you uh I was super nervous I feel because I was like oh like how do you make an entrance how do I make them like you know just do, like do it and I like knew my mom was in the crowd and I was like oh god and uh, <laughs> I went out first and I was like and I literally just as soon as I walked out there I kind of just like threw my hands up I was like and they started like booing me immediately. Some lady in the crowd called me Charlotte Flair, and I was like, "Perfect." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "I can work with that." 
And then, like, are you, like, regular base, are you a baby face or are you a heel? Uh, so far, I've been mostly a heel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you prefer which being I... a heel? Do you like being oh, a heel? Yes. Oh, yes. I thoroughly enjoy being a heel. <laughs> <laughs> I like constantly just have a stank face on so it's much easier for me to be a heel and just play that role than to like be all happy yeah. and smiling. <laughs> <laughs> but also you know like recently you had a triple threat match which was between yeah. uh, Charlie Cruel and Logan Sartor like what was that uh, match experience like with you working with them? Um, it was really cool actually that was my yeah like you said my first triple threat which was it was cool to be in there with um, just like more than one person and experience that like type of um, like gel and vibing and stuff like that. Um, and the crowd was super into it. Uh, so that was really cool. And I think overall, like I had fun during the match. It was super cool and they're great to work with. Um, so for my like first triple threat, I was, I was pretty happy with it. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. And especially with now with everything with wrestling, there's so much to watch. You know, there's like, mm -hmm. you know, AW, WWE, New Japan. How much wrestling do you watch in, in today? Like, how much do you watch? Um, I try to watch as much as possible. Normally, we get done training right as everything's like starting on mm -hmm. TV. And I live a good like 45 minutes away from training. So by the time I'm getting home, it's like an hour or so in but like I throw it on while I'm cooking like supper or something like that so I pretty much watch it as much as possible it's just like with the time schedule and everything how much I can fit in <laughs> mm -hmm. is there like a certain style like you're like a big fan of like are you like fan of like Japanese style or the high flying or even like deathmatch is like into your fan of <laughs> I keep saying eventually I'm gonna work my way to high flying because I feel like that's really cool mm. um and I do enjoy watching that sort of stuff um for now, I've just been watching everything now. Mm -hmm. And especially right now with, you know, women's wrestling right now, mm -hmm. like everything is so high right now, like everything, like even like you see like Impact even doing the pay-per-view with just women wrestling and even in WWE too. Like what are your thoughts on the product that women wrestling is right now? Oh, I think women's wrestling is like at such a high level right now. I mean, you like you're saying, you watch any promotion and there's just such high quality mm -hmm. Um, women everywhere and I think it's great like that's why I'm so excited to get into it and just like start going as hard as possible because I mean literally women right now are running it and it's great it's so exciting to watch and just like I know I'm not a part of it yet but like hopefully one day be a part of it that would be awesome mm -hmm. yeah, especially because like the like I said Rich and I were watching back in mid-2000s and it really really wasn't like a real investment yeah into mm -hmm. women's wrestling and then now you're seeing there's pay-per-views of them and them headlining which is amazing mm -hmm. to watch because there is a lot of great talent out there with women yeah, women's yeah. Wrestling. there's so much and also you know with everything like now you're seeing impact wrestling kind of doing a little bit like intergender wrestling what are your thoughts on that like are you a fan of intergender wrestling yeah i mean i I would definitely wrestle an intergender match if I got the opportunity. Um, I think like I have a few friends that I would wrestle that I would really enjoy to work with because they're just great workers and like good guys. Um, I don't have any problem with intergender wrestling. I feel like the matches that get put on are great. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And especially because you don't really see that much from like AEW or even WWE doing it, but like the only company that's really kind of doing it right now is like Impact. And like, especially mm -hmm. like... Yeah. Like, I feel like when Tessa Blanchard was wrestling, she was a world champion. Like, that was really, like, you know, the point where, like, yeah, women can wrestle and they can mm -hmm. keep up and they could do killer matches, you yeah. know? So it's really awesome to see. And I'm just happy, like, finally, you know, like, they're getting the time and they're headlining mm -hmm. promotions, which is awesome to see. But, no, you know, I totally of, agree. Mm -hmm. And as of now, like, what are your goals as of now? Like, is there any specific promotion you would like to – maybe sign with one day or even like a country like to even travel um as far as promotion to sign with I don't like to put all my eggs in one basket especially like you mm -hmm. guys said all, like there's so many promotions right now mm -hmm. um that are literally at the top of their game I would be lucky enough to work for any of them um as far as countries go I definitely would like to travel 
to most places. I mean, wrestling in the UK would be really cool. Um, wrestling in Japan, everybody wants that opportunity. Um, so I honestly would just like to work for any promotion and wherever they head, I'm, I'll go with them wherever you need me. <laughs> <laughs> and then is there any uh, talent in specific that you would like to work with in the future? Um, way, way down the line, you know, <laughs> when I make mm. it big one day, I feel like uh, I've said before, like Bianca Belair, she's great. She's fantastic. Um, I would love to work with Sasha as well. Um, just seeing her at training that one day, just like watching her, I was like, God, she'd be super cool to work with. <laughs> um, uh, I feel like Ruby Soho in AEW, she's oh, great. Yeah. I would love yeah. the chance to work with her as well. Um, there's so many people, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <I use> everybody. <laughs> in, uh, with, you know, if, if someone's watching this, and wants to become a professional wrestler, is there any advice you could give to someone who wants to start in this business? Uh, I would say just start as soon as possible. Like if there's anything holding you back or anything that I don't know you're worried about, just do it and things will fall into place. As long as you work super hard, um, make sure that you're working out, you're studying film, you're doing everything possible then there's no reason that you can't do it. I just mm -hmm. always tell everybody to just go for it. Why not? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's really great advice, especially if you're like you see people that want to do it and it's like, oh, well, no, I have to do this or I have to work, mm -hmm. but it's, everything is possible. You know, like you, mm -hmm. you make the time you can do it, you know? But, you know, again, I really do appreciate you taking the time to do this podcast with us. We really, really appreciate it. Thank no, so no, I appreciate you guys for sure. It's been so much fun. <laughs> well, no, we had we had so much fun and uh, is there anything you want to uh, plug in before we wrap up anything you want to plug in bookings or merch or anything um sure my merch is on big cartel um it's averybro.bigcartel.com um bookings coming up this friday i'm in st pete and then next weekend i'm with arw on the 28th 29th 30th that's going to be right here in florida as well um other than that instagram mm -hmm. i'm avery bro underscore and then twitter is just avery bro <laughs> awesome and there you go we'll also put down the link in the description where you can follow and support her and do her favor follow and support her um she's a rising <laughs> star and uh and again thank you so much i really appreciate it no thank you guys totally <laughs> awesome and that's gonna do it us here from championship online podcast we'll see you guys next time Thank you.